Is this meant to be happening to my game? <laughs> welcome guys, it's Mr. Gaming here, and welcome back to a another video. And today I'm going to be telling you my experience with the Call of Duty Vanguard beta. It's not a very good experience. I've had so many issues with the beta this time around. Um, I've explained in a tweet that I did before. Um, I've never really experienced too many game breaking issues with a Call of Duty beta ever before. But this one takes the bloody cake because I've just been having so many unplayable issues um, with the beta. I've not been able to fully enjoy myself when playing this. As on the Xbox side of the beta, it has just been an absolute pain to play because I've just had so many connection issues, so many glitches with the game. It's just like, I can't enjoy myself in this beta. Now, let me talk about a couple of positives because it's not all negative in this beta. I feel like the gameplay is okay. I feel like uh, the gunplay is alright. I feel like I feel the same way in terms of the gameplay to the alpha, not much has changed. I might feel the same about the gameplay, but one thing I don't feel the same about is the elimination system. Now I've created a short little explanation video of how the elimination system works in this game. So let's say I come into a battle, uh, don't ask who the other person is on the right, that's not important, but let's say I shoot someone once in the foot and then I die. If someone else comes in and absolutely sprays this enemy, then I also get an elimination at the end. And they also get elimination. There's no assist. Call of Duty Vanguard. The map selection as well is a bit weird. So I'm coming from a uh, Call of Duty League fan. I support the Optic Chicago. And coming from that, I don't see any of these maps playing well in competitive. Like... I struggle to even find people in some of these maps in 6v6, the mind 4v4, the competitive game mode that Call of Duty League players play, and also as well, the League player mode that we might get will also be 4v4. Most of these maps don't even play well on them because they're so massive, some of them. I struggle to even find them on 6v6. 10v10 um, and 12v12 maps are pretty fine. I feel like a lot of these maps that they're giving us do play well on the larger player count. They don't play well on 6v6, and I dread to think how well they play on, on 4v4. The state that the beta is in right now is making me a little bit worried, as typically with card games, this is the full game, and if this is the full game and we're already experiencing this kind of stuff before the game even releases, I'm very worried about this year's card. I'm going to keep this sh uh, video short and sweet as there's just not a lot to talk about. I've not been enjoying myself on the Vanguard Bear. It's just been painful to get on as there's just been so many connection issues and there's been so many game breaking issues, which funny enough, they just expect they just expanded the bear by another day. So I'm going to assume that is because of that. Thank you guys for watching my short little video. I shall see you in the full game where uh, hopefully all these issues have been resolved and I make a follow up video where, yeah, I agree with the, the changes. But my hope will never